What's up, everybody? It's Caleb from the Beat League and Project Lionheart. Um, here today with a quick tutorial on some vocal processing tricks. Um, so, basically, uh, what this is going to do is help you create a stereo effect um, when your vocalist isn't there. So, in other words, if you have someone singing the hook, it's best to have them double their their tracks, obviously, you know, and give you that big sound and you can layer those uh, those takes or whatever but sometimes you either don't have the take you need or you got one good take and then now the vocalist the vocalist is not there anymore um, and you want to get that kind of doubled effect or that stereo effect um, here's a quick trick to get that so in this um, example TJ singing uh, six feet underground um, which is one of my favorite hooks that he ever sang. Check it out. This is a this is actually a double right here. These two tracks are two different takes. Um, that he doubled up. Can nobody ever shut me up or try to slow me down, boy? I don't ever want to sleep till I'm six feet on the ground. No, 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 no. Cool. So we got that double, both those takes were great, and so we used them in the recording. Um, but then he sang, up here, he sang a low octave. Check it out. Can nobody ever shot me up a... <laughs> Hold on, I got that harp there for some reason. Can nobody ever shot me up or try to slow me down, boy. <laughs> okay, so um, for this one, he just did this one take, and then... Um, and that's all we have. So if I want to get that same stereo sound that I have with his um, up higher octave, um, a quick tip here is just duplicate that track and then hard pan left and right and then offset. on Down here there's a little milliseconds tab. You need to offset like the one that's panned to the right. Offset that one by like negative four or negative five or whatever. And what that does is it spreads out um, both because these are identical waveforms. So if they're just coming out at the exact same moment, there's a weird phasing issue there. So make sure you offset them. That's going to spread that timing out a little bit and create that stereo effect. And you can play around with how big you want that gap to be um, to create different effects or whatever. So what that does, though, is it creates that same stereo sound on this low octave. Can nobody ever shut me up or try to slow me down, boy? And real quick, it looks like there's a harmony up here. Um, let's check it out real quick. Six feet on the ground. No, no, no. No, no. Cool. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to duplicate it. Um, yeah, it was already panned, but whatever. Pan it left and right. And offset this by like five. Or maybe let's do it differently. Let's do seven. And listen back. Six feet on the ground. No, no, no. No, no. So obviously, you know, I have to fine tune this. And um, But for this example, basically, I'm just showing you guys how you can go from just having one vocal take to, uh, to doubling them up, spreading them out hard panning them, and then offsetting them by a few milliseconds to create a stereo double effect. So hopefully this helps you, and uh, go check out projectlionheart.com, and go check out thebeatleague.com. All right, you guys. Can nobody ever shut me up or try to slow me down, boy?